This demonstration will cover how to set up the ANSYS License Manager to run within a cloud environment using ANSYS Gateway powered by AWS. A license server running in the cloud can be useful for several reasons. First, because it's in the cloud, you don't have to worry about unscheduled outages or equipment failures. It should always be accessible when you need it. Second, as it's already located within your company's cloud environment, all your other cloud resources will be able to access it. Lastly, it's a very convenient way to deploy a temporary license for a predetermined length of time. Before we begin outlining the process of setting up the server in ANSYS Gateway, let's take a moment to go over some of the requirements. First, you must be able to create a project space within your company's ANSYS Gateway portal or have access to at least one existing project space. Second, you must have sufficient privileges to create a new virtual machine. Now that we've covered those requirements, we're ready to get started. To begin, log into the ANSYS Gateway portal at gateway.ansys.com. From the Gateway dashboard, you can create a new project space or use an existing one. Some actions may not be available depending on the level of access you have as a user. Once you're in the desired project space, create a new virtual machine by clicking New Resource, Virtual Desktop. Select an availability zone. If you have multiple zones to choose from, it's usually best to start with a zone close to your geographic location. Click Next to proceed. For this example, we will not be using a template. So let's go ahead and click Next. Our operating system will be Windows Server 2019, so we'll click Next here as well. In the Applications menu, we're going to want to install the latest version of ANSYS License Manager and Mozilla Firefox. Click Next to continue. We've now reached the Hardware Configuration page. The operations carried out by the ANSYS License Manager are not as resource intensive as the simulations run by the ANSYS solvers, so we don't need a very powerful instance. A T3.medium instance will work just fine. Moving on, we can review the storage configuration. We really don't need any additional hard drive space for this, so let's click Next. You may want to add some tags to this instance to make it easy to identify. Next, we'll give the instance a name and description. Here, it might be useful to explicitly state that this license server should always be running. Once all of this is configured, we can click Create Virtual Desktop. The creation process for a new virtual machine takes about 20 minutes. Once the instance is up and running, you can click Connect to log in via Remote Desktop. You'll notice a file gets downloaded. Open this file and enter your credentials to log in. The remote desktop will look just like a standard Windows PC. Go to the Start menu and locate the ANSYS License Manager application. Right-click it and select Run as Administrator. It may be necessary to set Firefox as the default internet browser. Internet Explorer is not supported. In order to create a license file, ANSYS needs the system host ID information. Click Get System Host ID Information, then click Save to File. Open the resulting file and copy all the information within it. Then email this information to your ANSYS account manager. They will then provide you with the license file. Once you receive the license file, you can save it on your local PC, then access it from the virtual machine in the cloud. In order to access your local PC from within the virtual machine, you will need to enable the option to automatically map local disk drives. This can be found in the user settings of the ANSYS Gateway dashboard. Drag the license file onto the remote desktop. Go back to the ANSYS License Manager and click Add a License File. 
Click Browse and locate the license file. Then click Install License File. You will see a message stating the license file has been installed and the server status will be shown as running. Return to the ANSYS Gateway dashboard and examine the license server settings. Note the private IP address listed here. As the administrator, you can go to the administration menu and from the application management section, you can configure the license server settings for each ANSYS application in advance. Now, whenever these are installed, the license server information will be populated without the need for the end user's input. If the virtual machine is already running, the end user can launch the ANSYS client licensing settings and enter the server IP address to access the license. This concludes the demonstration on setting up the ANSYS license manager to run within a cloud environment using ANSYS Gateway powered by AWS.